channel all things yaz i hope you guys are safe and well in today's video i thought it'd be fun to show off my designer sunglasses collection i have eight pairs of designer sunglasses to go through with you today and i have brands such as louis vuitton ray-ban mark jacobs dior and gucci so if you like those brands then i think you may like this video First and foremost, I do want to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. I love you all so much. I can't believe it, but we've just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is insane. I can't believe it. This is my hobby, guys. I just love talking about all things designer and luxurious. And if you're new to my channel and you like all those things too, then I think this is the channel for you. If you're a regular and you haven't yet subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Ring my bell. Join this designer loving family. We'd love to have you and without further ado let's get on to this collection okay guys so I really like designer sunglasses so much so that I have a really bad habit I purchase a pair of designer sunglasses every year before my holiday and every year it seemed to be getting more and more expensive I think the most expensive pair out of this collection are the Dior ones um, and then the newest pair are the Louis Vuitton ones which I bought last year and I'll leave a link when I'm talking about them about that um, unboxing because I did an unboxing video of them I think it was in my Lisbon Porto vlog but I'll leave that linked in a minute I think the way I'm going to structure this video is I'm probably going to go oldest to newest and it's quite funny because all of my oldest ones are from Gucci now I don't know why that is I don't really have a preference when it comes to designer sunglasses brand it's just the way they look on me um, and I, I just really like all of them to be honest so let's start off with my oldest pair like I said they're from Gucci um, you're probably gonna see my ring light in the background um, but I'll put um, a cutaway of me wearing them or them just on their own but these are quite oversized um, they're in like this kind of like brownie green tone that's framing quite a dark glass the one thing that I really loved about these when I was buying them was they have this bamboo bit on the side which they had on quite a lot of their bags I think they still do and it's kind of like on the side got a bit of tortoise shell going on I don't particularly wear these anymore because I'm not sure if um, they've been squidged in my bag but they don't sit particularly amazing on but other than that I really did like these I like the fact that they were so oversized and that's coming back in as well so I like getting designer sunglasses because I think the investment is worth it because if you choose like a style that will never go out of date then it you have that style in your wardrobe for future and yeah I quite like that um, but these are really cool I really like them I'll show a cutaway or a close-up of me wearing them but yeah but these don't come out as often as they do have a few scratches because I neglected these ones next up are some funky ones now again I was really loving the oversized trend and I just I don't know what I was thinking to be honest I love on these ones because they've got the classic GG on the side again I will try and show that up in a cutaway and all of these Gucci ones now I don't know if they still do it because I don't have a recent pair have like the little um, swished Gucci on the side of the glass there which is kind of cool I love the colour of these it's kind of like a light green um, blue and brown kind of like mixture but these are huge and I feel like it's like maybe 1970s vibe um, from them which is rather cool but yeah I love these they've got a really thick side to them but yeah I really like these they're really cool very oversized um, and as we move on it's gonna get less oversized <laughs> Next up, now I didn't mention these in the intro because I'm not really sure they are designer. I think they're more of a high street brand, but I still really like them. And I wanted to show them off because they are quite a good dupe 
for the next ones as well and these are from Pepe Jeans. Now I love purple, probably my favourite colour is purple and blue, those are my two favourite colours. So when I saw these, and you'll understand, I, there's a few other purple and blues in here as well. Um, when I saw these I fell in love with them, again they're that kind of oversized kind of look to them but they've got this like purple like gradient going through with a bit of black and yeah they were really nice but let me show you the Gucci ones which I purchased shortly after now again you might just have to see this on the cutaway they are ridiculously similar in colour um, so these have a very similar gradient um, which is kind of cool but these are going towards more of an aviator style um, and again they've got that little Gucci bit in, in the top and as I noticed, um, looking at these, the older ones have more of a darker glass than the rest. Um, the rest are quite light and brighter, um, but these are going with that little gradient at the bottom. They're getting lighter at the bottom, which I think is more of a trend now. Um, more of a open coloured glass. And yeah, I really like these. These I wore so much and again we're going back to that kind of like starting to get thinner and this one actually has the interlocking Gucci um, on the side. But I really like these. Again, I'm not sure if I sat on them or if these bits have been bent a bit but they sit like slightly, not like up but slightly like diagonal like that way if you understand what I mean. Um, but I still wear these today and I still love them. Um, not so much wearing these anymore because I feel like they've got a bit more of a curve to them. Again, I feel like I've been a bit naughty with these and they also have quite a few scratches because I must have thought these are quite a good dupe back then. <laughs> I think this is like five years ago now. Um, and I've worn these more just purely because I thought they looked very similar and I didn't want to ruin these. Um, naughty, being naughty again. Right, let's move on. These are a cool pair. These are my Marc Jacob ones. I love these because of the, the blue and the, the white kind of clear lens to them. These look so cool on. I still wear them today. And yeah, again, I like this kind of like black on the side and then the blue on the inside. These are really good at blocking out the light. Again, I feel like as we move forward, it's less good on my eyes. Um, so these, this one and the next one are really good and then the next two are not the best at blocking out sun. They're not the best at their job. <laughs> they just look really good, <laughs> as I like to say. Um, but I have quite sensitive eyes and these work really well at blocking out the sunlight um, and making it a lot less harsher. But I love these on, again, I still wear these today, and I like the the way they've done the Marc Jacobs on the side. It's just a really nice logo, um, and I really like that as well. But again, quite oversized, but getting to that more aviator style, which is probably my preferred at the moment. Next up, we have a classic pair of Ray-Bans. Now, I do have another pair of Ray-Bans, and for the life of me, I cannot find them. So I'll input maybe a photo of them up now. But I had the most cool pair. They were bright blue. If I can find a picture of me in them, I will. Um, and I, I thought they suited my face quite well. Um, and I'm thinking I might, might buy them this year as my pair of <laughs> designer sunglasses. It's a, it's, it's a habit. It's such a bad habit, guys. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are really cool. But these are my other pair of designer sunglasses. Sorry, Ray-Ban sunglasses. Just the classic aviator style. I really like them. They're framed with the gold and they've got this polarized glass. I mean, I thought they were meant to be better at blocking out the sunlight, but I can't really see any difference. And I really like the lens. So the lens is like this blue color, but it's really quite light. And I really like that on this pair of sunglasses. And again, we've got that ultra thin side. Um, but I just think these work with all of your outfits, regardless of what you're wearing, they work so well. And these are the ones that I keep in my car, just in the glove compartment, because 
they're just the perfect go-to if I'm struggling with what kind of outfit I'm wearing. I'll just pop these in my bag uh, and go. But yeah, I really like these. I think they just look really good on anyone, really. Um, so if you are struggling for what kind of like style to go for, I would definitely look at... So if you are going to purchase a designer sunglasses, um, sunglasses, I would definitely try out, go Primark first, get a style or shade, or even just try it on in the store. Um, because it is really hard, and with the situation that we are in now, we can't go into shops and try them on. Um, your best bet is to maybe purchase a couple of pairs, um, cheap pairs, try them on, see how they look, and then go for a nice designer pair that suit the frame of your face. Um, so I think I have quite like a, an oval face, um, kind of, yeah. Um, and aviators work well for me, and oversized I think work quite well as well. <laughs> okay, so next up, potentially my favourite out of the entire thing. Um, worn, third most worn, <laughs> are these Dior ones. Now, I absolutely love these. When I was in the shop, it was like two years ago, I wanna say, um, I was debating between these ones and a very similar shape, but they were very like sheer glass. You can see everything. They were very thin, like the um, aviators, but a very similar shape. These are my first kind of like square shaped sunglasses and I love them so much. They've got this gorgeous like reflective glass, which I really wanted because I have quite a lot of like open colored, say like the Marc Jacobs, they're quite like transparent colors the Ray-Ban and then my most recent are very like, you can see everything, but these are like, nope, I'm gonna side eye you or that kind of thing. I quite like having a pair of sunglasses that you can't see my eyes, you don't know where I'm looking, which is cool. And the one other thing that I really love about these is the tortoise shell. I love these on here. On these side, we have the classic CD, Christian Dior. And I think these are from the Dior Abstract Collection. Again, these were a couple of years old. I will try my best to link all of these down in the description box. And if I can't, I will link similar options. I will do my best to find very similar options. So if you do really like the, the look of these, then you can go and check out some similar options. Um, but yeah, I really like the way these look on. They fit so comfortably on the face and they don't have the... Um, these bits so on the so I have two sunglasses out of the all of these um, that have these bits which can be rather annoying because they can move can't they what are they called the nose I'm gonna call them the nose bits but I'm sure they'll have a certain name comment down below if you know god tell me off um, but these bits sometimes can annoy me they get stuck in my hair which oh that is such a pain Comment down below if you've had that and you've gone like, oh, my hair, that, that's so annoying. So I really like the fact that they don't have that. But you can, if you want, unscrew it and move these about. So that is quite cool. Whilst with all the others, they don't have it. So it sits how it sits on your face. So I really like that. So, and they, are, they were quite expensive. I think they were about 470 pounds. Um, but I don't mind that because they look so good and they feel really good on. And the fact that they have this bit, so it's not gonna get caught in your hair, but you can still alter it. I really love that, I really love that. And they do a really great job of blocking out the sunlight, which is perfect. And on to my most recent pair and my most worn pair. Ray-Bans, just below, then these, then I'm not sure about the rest. <laughs> but these are definitely my most worn. So, did I say the Dior's were my most favourite? It's a toss up between these Louis Vuitton ones and my Dior ones because I really can't decide. Now I got these last year, I'll link that video now so you can go check that out. It was a Lisbon Porto vlog, I've just checked. So if you want to skip that bit, I think maybe halfway or a little bit more than halfway, there is a handbag, a Louis Vuitton handbag unboxing, a Louis Vuitton shoe unboxing, and then these if you want to check these out. Um, but these are my favourite. It's a toss up. I can't. I can't. They're 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 
they're joint first with the Dior. They're joint first with the Dior, but they are my most worn um, pair of sunglasses and I absolutely adore them. I love the way they are framed in this gold, but then this part of them has no frame. The glass is just open. I really like that. And then we've got this really thin side. But on this that side, you can see the Louis Vuitton monogram. Again, if you can't see that now, I will do a close-up. And then on the front, you've got a little bit of the Louis Vuitton monogram of these little stars, and then a little Louis there as well. Um, I love the shade of this. Again, when I have a tan, it works really well with my complexion. I wear these with anything. I do think they go with pretty much any outfit. And they are ridiculously comfy. I love them. I love the fact that they've made the nose bit <laughs> um, like a very kind of clear but similar kind of tone to the glass. So it's not like a white, it's not like a, a color. It's something that blends in quite well so you can't really see that when it's on. And they also have, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you, um, they also have there the Louis Vuitton monogram, like a little star from it, um, which is really cool. They've got Louis Vuitton on the inside as well, just here, and then again on the end bit, which I just like those added little touches to these sunglasses. Again, the, I really like these. I prefer these over the Ray-Bans. Um, I would say they're okay. They, they're okay with blocking out the sunlight. Um, I wouldn't look directly at the sun in these, definitely not, probably more with the Dior's, but then I wouldn't do that anyway. Um, but in really bright light, they, they're okay, they're okay. Um, the worst ones are probably the Ray-Bans ones. I can't look in, in really bright light. They don't really work that well. Um, but they're just a staple that I have in my handbag. But yeah, so that concludes this designer sunglasses haul. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I do have a few things to mention, guys. So I did want to mention what's going on in the next couple of weeks so you guys are ready you can um put in your diary what you want to watch so next week we are having the swimwear haul so stay tuned for that the following week will be either a gymshark haul it just depends on when my designer item is arriving it said it could take up to one to two weeks and i purchased that today so it could be either a gymshark haul or a designer unboxing so stay tuned for that obviously guys we have a new car review on sunday so again if you are a massive car fan then stay tuned for that it is an aston martin but you have to guess the model. So I'll leave that Rolls Royce for you. Um, that was the start of my mini car series that goes up on Sundays at 5 p.m. So if you haven't seen that one, head to that video and check it out. But other than that, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>